I've always loved hockey and that was kind of always my, my number one thing and goal. I think I started when I was real young, around three or four, out on the lake. Um, Dad always made outdoor rinks at home too, so he played hockey as well and just everyone in my family did. My cousins, we were all similar ages and we all played hockey, so um, just something that I was kind of born into and, and found a love for it right away. Definitely um, been very happy with how my career has worked out to this point and hopefully uh, it keeps trending upwards. Just under five minutes left, defenseman pinching in. Admiral through neutral ice with Trennan, slowed down by Manel. Wild players very slow back to his skates and in fact hurt, it's Mason Shaw. And play halted here, Shaw cannot get to his skates. My goodness. Masataki, Iwa head athletic trainer to race out. Oh, this is not good. Mason Shaw cannot get back on his own power to escape. Susie's going to help him up. He was tangled up with an Admirals player for quite some time in the corner. Health so important in the postseason. Game three um, in Milwaukee, the series had been going um, in our favor for the most part that game. They were they took us to us a little bit and I just got a puck in the corner, went to cycle it behind the net and uh, just a, a player fell back on my leg and I knew right away that, that it wasn't going to be good. Um, I just heard a pop and, and I've, I've had, unfortunately I've had this um, torn ACL before so I knew I knew that feeling and yeah, it wasn't going to be good and I knew I had a, a lot of hard work ahead of me to get back. Your feet can never cross, your shoulders will stay facing that wall the whole time. Does that make sense? I know right after my surgery driving back to the hotel, I was, I was pretty emotional because I knew that I had six to eight months of, of almost hell to get back to playing again. And Yeah, he, he's, a he's a tough guy. And to go through it for a third time, you've got to have a lot of perseverance. You have to be resilient. You have to be persistent. A lot of challenging days that would eventually lead to me getting back on the ice and skating again. So it's a slow process and it takes a lot of time and you gotta take the small victories when they come. Yeah. To be able to come through that a third time, emotionally strong, it shows the commitment of the player, it shows the toughness of the player, it shows the character of the player. You know, you lean on your teammates and you know roommates as, as much as, as, as you really can because that's your support staff at the time, but the guys in the room become your family, so I owe them a lot of credit to keep me positive and keeping me hungry to, to come to the rink and, and get better and, and work hard every day. He's got a smile, he's upbeat, he's energetic. Keep bringing that tenacity every day. Play with that edge. Uh, continue to be that guy that we rely on. That was hard mentally and it was challenging, but it's part of my story and part of my journey. And now that I'm, I'm back playing again, it's you know, I'll come out of it stronger. Um, right now I'm motivated as ever, and. I'm just very grateful and excited to be out there right now.